Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Todd here. I'm up here at the Northland. Uh, we're going to film part two of the raised deer blind build. I'm um, over here at a sand pit that I have on the property. I'm going to grab a bucket full of sand for the uh, bottom of the stairs so we can get that hole filled in so we quit tripping on it. And then I'll take it back over to the blind and show you what I have going on. So stick around and, and hopefully we'll get a lot done today. See you in a few. Mike's up there trimming the edge off because it's hanging over a little long. The drip edge will cover it, so it won't be a problem. We're about to put the roof on. So I dropped that load or part of that load there. That should absolutely fill that hole in. I'm gonna put the rest of it over there, catch a hole. Got a break in the, in the rain this morning that we had, so Mike got up there and trimmed that edge that was long off of there, so we're ready to get it going. We're working on the roof. We've got all four sides of the drip bed, John. He put some ice and fire down on the edge on the outside. Why not? And then uh, he's got the starter strips going. We're going to do starter strips top and bottom. So that is where it stands at this very moment. As soon as that's on, we can get going on the shingles. We're racing the rain. But everything's going pretty straightforward at this point. If you're new to the channel, this is a raised deer blind that we're building out here on our property up in northern Michigan. The blind is seven and a half feet off the ground it's a footprint of 12 foot by eight foot it has a 210 or 212 slope with a shed roof on it and this is a two-person hunting blind it's going to give us an opportunity for introducing the kids into hunting and then it's overlooking a food plot it's a pretty decent sized food plot it's about a third of an acre i think and right now we have brassicas in here with uh, turnip bottoms on them and a strip of clover that runs down the middle. It's perennial there. These are brassicas, of course, are annuals. So this would be a good blind for us to turkey hunt out of, and we can get several of us together. We can coyote hunt out of this and uh, as a group or team, and then we can introduce the kids to hunting as well, whether it's turkey or deer. 
So part one uh, video we did was, I think we spent four days uh, building this. We're built, everything's built on site. We haven't built anything and brought it in. And so uh, we have four days into it up to today. Today is day five, I believe. I have to go back and check. But Mike's up there right now. We're working on the roof. We got the drip edge in. We've got the, all the tar papers down, etc. So he's putting the starter strip down and we'll be shingling here before too long. Uh, we got rained off this morning, so we started the day, um, missed out on almost half a day. So right now we've got a window, it looks like, from about noon till 5 o'clock where we should be able to dodge the rain. So we're hoping we can get the, get the roof on and get, get going on the siding. So we'll bring you along for the journey. Give me an update. It's about 6.30 in the evening. The roof is done. We installed the door. Mike's doing a little bit of spray foaming on the outside. We had to kick the bottom of the door out a little bit to make it all come together. So he's going to hit the sides of that brick mold with some spray foam behind there. Once we put the siding on it, it'll hide all of that. It ain't going to matter. But in the meantime, there's the door. Um, you can see that we've got a piece of gutter. It goes across the top of the door to keep any rain from falling down onto the staircase. And we've pitched that to the east a little bit. We got rained off, so it, we know the gutter works because it was doing its job. We've been uh, doing things undercover. It's rain's let up, so we're no longer dealing with uh, rain at the moment. But stay tuned. Hopefully tomorrow will be a little drier. So the roof is done. The door is set. Um, that's about it for the day. I mean, it's a pretty good accomplishment. And we're going to be spray foam. I'd do it from the inside, Mike. Yeah, it's just not one. Really just, one. just catch it in the inside. It'll come right out there. Yeah. Don't even worry about that. So, that's where we stand. I'd like to try to get a piece of siding on it today. So, I'll be back with you later. We've been dealing with a rain delay. Mike spray foaming. We got a couple of sheets of siding up on the back. We'll cut that off with a grinder. We've got... We started working on the front, too. We're going to do the side... The flat sides, we'll do the angle cuts tomorrow. We're running out of daylight for sure. We've been battling the rain today. <clears throat> Got one strip up on the front. We're going to try to get that. Uh, Mike's going to cut that window out with his grinder and so we can get that second piece up. We'd like to be able to get the whole front done before we call it a night. We'll see if we get rained off or not, but. It's Sunday morning, September the 13th. We're picking up where we left off. We been dealing with some drizzle and high winds this morning but the wind is up and on or off and on but drizzle seems to have blown out I don't know if you can see those clouds down there kind of blowing through it's supposed to blow out of here by midday well it's right around noon right now uh, so we got 
not much further than where we left off probably the last time I showed it to you we're show you around back here Mike's filling in the OSB around the door a couple of spots under the door so we can kind of keep going on the siding on the back we'll do what we can do if the rain comes in maybe do the insulation in the floor we got OSB to go on over the insulation so that's something we can do in the rain if we have to it's it's hard doing the siding in the rain because not to mention the wind with the OSB just a little damp those self-tapping screws are we're having a heck of a time they're kind of blowing the OSB out and I know it's because that was all kind of damp so the wind is great for drying that out but the drizzle that keeps coming off and on isn't helping us right now so you know it's like any other project any other construction project you're always fighting the weather so that's kind of where we're at I'll check back in later okay we're sitting at uh, about 10 minutes to 7 p.m. on Sunday and we got all the siding done we've put some temporary covers over that window opening because uh, Mike has gone ahead and insulated underneath his floor and I'll show you that quick went with an R19 bat insulation in the floor and we're about to put OSB on the bottom side of that to cover that up of course you're supposed to go paper face to the conditioned space but it's a deer blind and it's a heck of a lot easier to get that stuff in there with the paper down and of course that's inside of a it's made for a two by six so you can have a dead air pocket under there good which would be great so that's what we're doing and then we've got this OSB over here we're in the process of figuring out how we got to cut out for the four by fours and that's pretty much where we're going to end the night is getting that OSB on. But we got the siding all done on all sides. Everything went fine. We ended up having to go get some one-inch screws. The three-quarter inch screws that we had just weren't grabbing well enough. Once we got those one-inch screws, it, it went fine. So you can see that Mike's spray foamed from the inside to close out all the gaps that are in there. Everything's looking good. Of course, we've got that gutter over the door, which is working well. See how we did the door. Take you around this back side, show you the other side. Everything pretty much came through real well. We cleaned the inside of it up. Still has some tools in there that we're gonna leave. It's getting late. I don't want to pack all my tools out. You can see that he's got his windows covered up. A lot of room in here. I know it's dark, but you should be able to see. Spray foamed up against there. On the inside, caught the other side. The door in. Door fits real well. It's a 24 inch staircase on a 36 inch door. So we cocked the staircase off to the knob side with the door swinging in. When you come in, you're holding on to the doorknob and you're pushing it open. So it's really pretty natural coming up here, even though you can see it's offset. We're going to put the railing on the, on the knob side. That way, if we do need to put furniture in here or whatever, it's not blocking the middle of the threshold. You have the full 36 inches to work with. So, all's well there. Spray foamed around the door. So, it's pretty much weather tight. We blocked off the windows because with the floor insulated, we don't want water blowing in here and getting down inside the uh, insulation. So, that's why we did that. I'm going to shut this door as I go down.
So, pretty successful day, even though the rain was after us, the high winds were after us. It's been a challenging weekend, but we got it all weather tight. And we're going to end the night by buttoning up the underside of it. And that'll be a full day, a full weekend. That stuff will have to get trimmed off. Again, I'll come back, give you a money shot from back here. Ooh, walking backwards, not a good idea. So that's coming along. There's still stuff to do on the inside and what have you, but successful weekend. Before we lose all of our light, I'll kind of, we got one sheet of OSB in place. And we're working on the other two right now. We're losing daylight. But that'll seal it up real nice underneath here. <laughs>